You embarrass yourself, bro. No, you you embarrass yourself. I mean, the the lack of professionalism, being interviewed on national TV, right? Um, you were there for the the Richard Hitchison fight, and um, ringside, you were incredibly inebriated. Later on, you apologize to your fans. Obviously, you care about your image, and you're saying that it'll never happen again. But it's not the first time this has happened. Because again, you have been at 168 way longer than Canelo. You've been champ and you lost the straps for actions outside of the ring. One for missing weight, the other one for another substance abuse issue regarding cocaine, allegedly, right? So the fact that you have an upcoming fight, you are supposed to be in training camp. Right, you're supposed to be in training camp, and you're showing what you do leading up to a fight, which is getting drunk. On top of that, you regress in your career because you're now an undercard fighter, fighting under Tank Davis's versus Frank Martin's card. You just had two pay-per-view fights, two, and your fight now against Alexander Volstead, you're an undercard fighter. That's crazy. Why are you you regressing in your career? You know, and, and I like David Benavidez, man. I like him as a fighter. You know what I'm saying? And um, he deserves his just due. He deserves more recognition. But, you know, the fact that it shows throughout the years you have lack of discipline. You can't make the weight. You missed, you missed a scale. You got your belt taken away from you because you couldn't make weight. And you have substance abuse problems in the past. And it's apparent now it led to another substance abuse with alcohol where you were incredibly inebriated on national TV, right? So yeah, it's definitely an embarrassment and you acknowledge that in your tweet by apologizing to your fans. So it's definitely an embarrassment. Um, but you know, it's the thing about it is, man, like I say, you've been at 168 way longer than Canelo. Canelo did what you were supposed to do at 168, which is unify the division. You did not. You were supposed to unify the division way before Canelo got there. And you didn't, right? Um, but I get it, you know, I, I, I get it. You wanna fight him and I do wanna see the fight. I'm not one of those people are, that are saying that Canelo's afraid of you, which I don't think he is. You know, I mean, Canelo has faced one of the hardest punchers in boxing history as in Triple G three times. And he stood there toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. So I don't consider him being scared of you. I just think that he is annoyed of you. I think Canelo's really annoyed of hearing your name. And um, that's why he asked for that outrageous price of $200 million because he's just annoyed of your name, right? But nonetheless, I still want to see the fight. I think you guys should be fighting next. And... Um, September or November, whenever you guys get done with your fights, when Canelo gets takes care of Jaime Mugia and you take care of Vostick, you guys should meet up later on in this year. You know what I'm saying? Fans, everybody's asking for that fight for you and, and Canelo, right? But man, show some discipline, show some professionalism, man. You got a fight coming up. You're in training camp. You should not be drinking, period. I'm not saying don't drink. I'm not saying don't have a good time, but you're in training camp. Show some discipline, brother. You know, you, you, you can drink or whatever you want to do in your off time. It's fine. But you're on national TV being interviewed, brother. Why embarrass yourself like that? You know what I'm saying? Why embarrass yourself? And people, when people uh, bring up Benavidez being drunk, they bring up Canelo being drunk at a time, right? But the difference is Canelo was drunk after a fight. It was a post-fight post celebration. As opposed to Benavidez, that was no post-fight celebration. That was, he had a fight scheduled. He's in training camp. And he was drunk, out of his mind. Inebriated, out of his mind. So big difference, man. Big difference. But anyway, man, those are my thoughts on that. Like I said, Benavides just needs to just show more discipline, brother. Show more discipline. 
you know? And I, I don't want to see your career regress like this either, brother. You, you should be headlining fights, not being an undercar fighter again. But anyway, those are my thoughts on that, fam. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about Benavidez being drunk. Till next time, signing out. Peace.